Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I do have a coloring um, kind of supply haul. Now this book I did get from my Walmart. Um, and I love this book. It's the Magical Gardens coloring book. There's just a lot of garden scenes, trees, and you know, pots and flowers and vases and things like that. And I am the kind of person that has a couple pages at a time. I don't just, you know, color one all the way through. I get bored pretty quickly. I have some, you know, ADD. So I have a color, a couple going at a time. This one was $5 at Walmart, and I really, really like this one. This one has 64 perforated pages which I like I hate it when you try to tear them out you know and they just tear all up so yeah got that one and then this little haul I got from Amazon and that's why I was waiting to show you that stuff from Walmart until I showed you all of these this is the Pride and Prejudice adult coloring book by Jade Summer um, these all these books were like five and five ninety nine too so this one I really like it it has the black backing on the pages like this so you could use like markers and it has like scenes from all of Jane Austen's you know the greats Emma you know um, Pride and Prejudice Persuasion I know I'm very excited Mansfield Park yeah I, I just love this I'm gonna have just the best time with this yeah if you like I'm um, Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice I think you're gonna love this so yeah I'm excited about this one. I think this one has 41 it doesn't say but I know it was five bucks and I will leave a link for everything down below in the description bar If you guys want to check it out The next one that I got was by Jade summer as well, and it was the beautiful dresses one This one has the black backing as well with just some really pretty dresses Like I think if you were into like, you know design and things like that This would be kind of interesting just you know to play with colors and I'm kind of excited to work on, you know, like my skin tones and, you know, contouring facial features and things like that. But some of these dresses are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that one. Oh, dear. And I think this is great because this is going to be no, no person is, look at that one. No one person is going to have the same, you know, colors, you know, color choices, you know, selections and things like that. So got that one. And then this one is the Flower Girls by Jade Summer. This one was also five bucks and it has the black backing as well. And it's just a lot of pretty faces with a lot of pretty flowers. Yeah, I'm excited to work like on, like I said, the face contouring, you know, skin tones, um, makeup and things like that. So yeah, just to give you a little preview here, some of the pages. This one I think is going to be really exciting. That one's pretty. That one's going to be a lot of fun with the hair. Yeah, so see the black backing on the pages? You could use markers. You could use, you know, a lot of other different mediums so and then the last one is the Victoria the Victorian fashion by Jade Summer um, like I said all these were on sale for like five bucks and this is just more kind of you know Pride and Prejudice um, Jane Austen Emma Mansfield Park kind of you know fashion clothing scenes and things like that so This one's going to be very intricate details, you know what I mean? Like, look at the little details on the dress and stuff. You could make it as detailed as you would want. Yeah, so I have been doing a lot of coloring lately. Um, just kind of like as my own like little personal therapy or whatever. Um, you know, I kind of find that it's soothing, okay? And then I got, this is the um, coloring case because my husband got me this 150 Prisma Color um, pencil set. And it, the box is nice and it has like these little trays, but it's kind of a pain to have to lift up, you know, three or four trays to find the color down there on the bottom and stuff. So I got this just so it'd be easier. And then I'm going to also use a marker to mark 
each, you know, slot. So that way when one runs out, you know, I'll know that it's going to run out or whatever. And I'll do a separate video of me, you know, kind of loading this up, but it does have um, enough room in here to hold 170 colored pencils. You know, it opens up three or four times here. Let's see. You use a marker and mark each color so that whenever, you know, like it gets low, the wording wears off or whatever, I'll know what color needs to be replaced in that, you know, section. Um, my good friend Lori here on YouTube actually told me to, you know, how to do that and stuff and, or to do that so I would know when I ran out of a color. Um, her channel is Color My World. I will link that below for you guys. It's a really, really talented um, artist here on YouTube. I love watching her coloring videos and she gives a lot of good tips about blending and color choices and things like that. Now this one was 22 and it holds 170. This one was only 9 I think, 9 or 12 and it holds 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So this one folds out like this and it holds 120. So this one I got for my Prisma colors, and this one I got for my Crayola Crazy Art um, Creation pencils, you know, so I'll have them separated and stuff. So yeah, that's my little Amazon haul, and I will show you guys when I get this, you know, completed and everything and all of that. So this is like a separate like little part, but my husband went to town and picked up this adult coloring grayscale. I had never colored grayscale before. And I'll just like flip through here. Look, it's April, the giraffe. Some really pretty pictures. I started off with something really small and simple because I had never colored grayscale before and I didn't want to tackle, you know, like April the giraffe or <laughs> the tiger, you know, or the elephant or anything, but it does say on here, um, it has over 30 images and it says shading will become a breeze when you let the image do all of the work for you. Now, I'm hearing that you can actually just use one color and color, you know what I mean, something, and then the darkest shadows will be your darker color, the middle shadows will be your middle, and then the lightest. I personally used different ones. This is the one I'm working on right now. Um, I just used a light, medium, and dark, you know, of each color. I still have the background to do. I haven't decided on the background color yet. Um, it's not it's not a bad book at all. It was only $3. The, the paper is a bit on the thinner side, so, you know, about two to three layers, about three layers, let's say three layers. Um, and then what, by the time you burnish it, you know what I mean? Your paper will start to kind of, um, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of gets, you know what I mean? Stuff on it. So got to be really careful with the paper, but I do like this so far. So he picks that up for me. And then I bought this one. Like I say, this is a separate day than the last haul at the very beginning of this. I bought this one and I loved it so much. I have done um, a couple of these. Let's see. I did this one. I did this one. And then I did, let's see. But I did, but I did a couple of these. Hang on. There's another one, I think, somewhere right there. I did this one right here. This was the latest one that I did. Um, and then I did these, this one, and then this one. And then my husband had a good idea to start putting the dates down here, you know, so we would know when we completed it or whatever. But I liked it so much that I, uh, I just got these today. I ordered the full-sized one because I liked that little one, the little pocket-sized one so much. And then I've seen a couple people do these are not, you know, first like brand new, just came out released or anything, but I saw a few people doing some color, you know, on this one, and I just thought it was really cute. It has like little sayings in the book, and one of them I really liked. It says, every amateur or every artist started as an amateur or something like that, so I've pretty much already found the first one that I want to color from here. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was really cute and, you know, it has like little sayings and all that kind of stuff. 
Yeah, I've seen a few people do um, some book that has like these little papers and you can like uh, fill in your own, you know. But I've seen a few people coloring in this one and I thought, oh, that's nice. I'm going to get it. And this one I want to be really, really colorful because the name of it is I Dream in Color, you know. So make it super colorful. And then I just picked up this one because I went to get the full size of the little, you know, uh, pocket size enchanted faces. I liked it so much. I wanted the big one and I ended up getting these three together because it said uh, people bought it together, bought these three together for like a certain price and you saved like $2, but it is the sweet and simple whimsy girls, more maids and more to color 50 magical. I know now the hardest part is going to be deciding which book to color in first because <laughs> I have like all of these new ones. So yeah, I just thought these were really cute. And I also did join um, the Hannah Lynn uh, Facebook group and also the Prisma Color um, Combinations Facebook group, which I think is really cool. So yeah, I don't know if just anyone can join, but she, you know, linked it freely in her uh, video. And so I'll link it down below. And that uh, little case that I got that I showed you at the very beginning of this video. This is probably a week or two later since I got it. Love it. I want to get another one if I got some more colors and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and some like little mini things. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I know. Two endings, whatever, but this was like a two-part haul. Bye!